Welcome my fellow binge watchers, Ron here in It's That Time Again where we sit back, relax, throw our feet up and talk a little bit about what we've been watching and reading and playing and, uh, and you know, just like a, about life, I guess. So right now I am in the uh, beautiful but freezing city of Chicago. Um, it's about negative five degrees, that's uh, Celsius. Uh, and everybody keeps telling me how, how much of like beautiful weather it is outside because it's not raining or snowing, but um, I mean, I, I'm usually out with like four or five layers and as an Israeli, I cannot deal with the cold I'm freezing. This is not beautiful weather and you guys are insane. Anyway, I'm here for work and when I came here I had a plan. Um, I was gonna um, come here every night to this Airbnb where I'm staying um, after I'm done with all of my work stuff and uh, I was gonna watch a few episodes of a show. I was gonna make some progress and then that way when I came home um, I would have more to talk about. And um, what did I actually end up doing? I ended up coming back so late every day that all I did was um, watch a couple episodes of The Office and fell asleep. And to make things extra sad, uh, but a little bit more American, one night I even stopped by um, a 7-Eleven nearby and got a bowl of like instant ramen. And I ate that while I was watching The Office. So that felt kind of sad. Pretty good though. So the flight back home presents another interesting opportunity to do some binge watching and it's always a difficult choice, but I think I'm gonna go with uh, Messiah, the uh, new Netflix original. I'm interested to see how they handled all the like super sensitive or divisive political stuff. I've been reading some interesting reviews on it, so I'm gonna check that out. I have been doing a lot of reading though since I got here, so I did a lot of reading on the flight over and I've been listening uh, to a lot of audiobooks while I was just kind of walking around. And I'm almost done with the second book of the first law trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. The book is uh, Before They Are Hanged. And I'm just completely in love with this series and Joe Abercrombie's writing style. On the surface, it seems like I shouldn't love this as much as I do uh, because it doesn't really have a strong like magic system and uh, the story is actually pretty light on, on plot, on story. I mean, there's definitely a story in there and like lore and world building but not as much as something like um, a Brandon Sanderson book, uh, for example. The, this series, or at least these two books, focus super heavily on characters and less so on, you know, like a super innovative story. Uh, but I find myself just so completely immersed in this world and in love with these characters. I'm not going to say anything because maybe some of you haven't read it. Um, but I think that this is the type of book that even if you're not a fantasy fan, uh, if you're just a fan of great characters and great stories, I definitely recommend it. As for what I've been playing, well, I mean, it's really been mostly uh, The Witcher 3 on the Switch. Um, I did play through the game on PC a while ago, but uh, after watching the show, I just uh, immediately just picked up the game on the Switch and found myself um, playing it while my wife was watching the show and I played it a bunch on the flight over as well um, and I'm all I almost feel guilty uh, because I mean I don't have that much time to play video games and so when I do I mean I should be playing new stuff and having new experiences but I mean it's just such a great game and I find myself just wanting to put all those hours into that game so yeah that's what I've been doing but I also picked up while I was here this uh, the D&D starter set and I actually also picked up the um, essentials kit which is already in the suitcase so I can't show you that um, so my friends and I did play uh, quite a bit of uh, role-playing games uh, growing up and uh, we've actually recently picked that up again, but I've never actually played D&D 5th Edition. Um, so I heard a lot of great stuff about the starter set and the essentials kit, uh, kind of being relatively new to the more structured way of play because we always played like super freeform uh, role-playing games. Um, so I'll... I guess I'll let you know how that goes. Or maybe I won't, actually, because this channel is supposed to be about TV shows. Okay, so 
so I'm back home, back from Chicago. I actually didn't end up uh, getting too much done on that flight back because I just slept through the whole thing. Um, but I did watch a few episodes of uh, Messiah since then. Hey girls, you wanna join in on this? Whoa, you okay baby? You're okay. So I did watch a few episodes of Messiah since then and um, it's kind of weird. I mean, I'm somewhere between kind of liking it and also feeling that it might be just like um, the poor man's homeland, right? Um, but I think that I'm definitely having a different experience of the show because I'm from Israel. So I don't really care about, you know, how the show portrays Israel and all of that. Like, it's a story. It, it's fine. I mean, and, uh, and I have my own kind of like political leaning, but that's not something that I really want to <laughs> spend too much time talking about on this channel. But just from, you know, like a storytelling perspective, is that for me? Okay. Ah. It's, sorry, it was kind of hard for me to, to talk about TV shows that way. But you know, just from the perspective of a guy who lives in Israel and have served in, in the military, um, a lot of the way that they do things in this show is really cringy. Huh? This has your spit all over it. Hmm? Doesn't bother her. So I'm absolutely sure that when shows portray other countries, um, you know, outside of the US, I'm talking about American shows, like when they talk about like Russia or other like European countries or any Middle Eastern country, um, for anybody who lives in that country, it's gonna be like pretty cringy, right? So with the way that they talk about Israel, I mean, it's fine. I actually think that they do like a decent job talking about fairly complex um, issues that, uh, that we have to live with. And it's all very good, uh, established, well-known Israeli actors. Um, it's just that you kind of watch it and you have to go like a little bit, and nothing works like that. Like there's this guy that is an investigator and it's unclear if he's an investigator for like the military or the military police or the actual police or uh, the Shabak or like whatever and it's all... So you watch it and you have this feeling of uh, no one actually talks like that because a lot of the Hebrew that they're speaking is almost like Google Translate. It's almost like they're saying things that would be easier for um, the people who make the show to, to translate. If I'm looking at the viewfinder, like the screen is just because I'm keeping an eye on the girls to see that they're not doing anything too crazy. And also the way that, I don't know, like the systems and the, the jobs that people have, uh, you, you just, like sometimes you watch it and you go like, nothing actually works like that. But I mean, the actors themselves, I think do a really good job, but I don't think that the show is as nuanced as it thinks it is. So a lot of things are very on the nose. Like, um, they're talking about this guy that, like, is he, is it a conspiracy or is he, like, actual, like, a prophet or, like, Jesus or whatever? Um, and you see a news report and the news report will say that something of biblical proportions. Okay, so this video is becoming sort of, uh, like the messiah rant video so i'm just gonna stop talking about it and i'm gonna go ahead and do my review for it i'm just gonna finish off by saying that i'm almost done with the show i'm i'm on the last episode there's certain aspect of it certain aspects of it that i really like like things that they did really well but as a whole package um it feels like it's just trying to be way more clever and subtle than it really is and I think it's kind of okay, like it's kind of fine. Okay, so I finished reading uh, the first Law trilogy. I read uh, Before They Were Hanged, and I read The Last Argument of Kings. Both of, both of them I really, really liked. Um, I know that some people had some problems with the way it ends. I'm obviously not gonna go into it, um, but I actually really liked the way it ended. Um, I have uh, I have some criticisms about the series as a whole, I would say. I don't know if this is the right place to go into them. Whoa, careful baby. <laughs> but um, yeah, all in all, I'm a huge fan of Joe Abercrombie now. And I actually bought his uh, latest book, uh, A Little Hatred. Uh, but only after I bought it, I realized that I'm supposed to read the other First Law standalone books, uh, uh, Best Served Cold, The Heroes, Red Country, all of those. So it's just sitting on my shelf, all beautiful and shiny and with a signed edition, by the way, that I didn't know that I cared about these kind of things, but apparently I do. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wait 
and then I'm gonna read all those, and then I'm gonna read A Little Hatred that I heard is really good. Are you t checking the temperature of my nose? I, I, think, I think it's good, baby. Yeah? <laughs> so the new book that I started reading is um, Fires of Heaven, book five of The Wheel of Time. And uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, when I started reading it, I was like, like, I didn't go into it with a positive feeling. I was like, this is going to be a slog, right? But I'm about like 10% into the book and it just feels like home, you know? Like I know these characters so well by now, um, just feels like coming home. So, so far, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And that is it, really. Um, I started watching on Netflix. Uh, the new show Giri Haji, two episodes in, loving it so far, but I'm going to talk about uh, that more in the next video. If you're going to be talking about spoilers for anything, please, please, please use spoiler tags in your comments. Um, if there's anything that you want to see me talk about on this channel, please just put it in the comments as well. But in any case, keep binging, and I'll see you next time.